intelligence, the name Rin, which constituted the individuality of the deceased and was thus essential for his or her continued existence in the afterlife. The shadow, Shut, known as the Shut, which was also to separate itself from the body and enjoy independent freedom of movement. The life force or spirit known as Ka, which remained in the tomb with the body of the deceased and was nourished with a constant supply of offerings. The soul or spirit known as Ba, depicted in Vignette as a small bird with a human head, which was free to visit the world of the living during the day, returning to the tomb at sunset. The disintegration of these diverse elements was prevented through the mummification of the body, a process by which the deceased was transformed into a divine or spiritual form known as the Sa. When the mummy was placed in the tomb, it was believed to enter the Duat or Netherworld where it underwent two ceremonial rituals, the weighing of the heart and the opening of the mouth. The first of these was a form of judgment of the life of the deceased, whereby his or her heart was placed in a scale and weighed against a feather, symbolizing, symbolizing, symbolizing mats. The ceremony was supervised by the jackal-headed Anubis and the ibis-headed Thoth, who wrote down the outcome. If the heart passed the test, the deceased could continue their passage through the duat. If it failed, it was eaten by Amit, the devourer, the second ritual, which was performed by a priest involved in touching the facial covering of the mummy with one or more ceremonial instrument, thereby unstopping the mouth, eyes, ears, and nostrils of the deceased so that they regain the use of these faculties. The opening of the mouth was of great importance since it enabled the deceased to recite the hymns and prayers written on the papyrus. It also enabled the deceased to recite the hymns and prayers written on the papyrus. Amazing! It also enabled them to address by name the gods it would encounter in the duat and respond correctly to their questioning. Other items placed in the tomb with the mummy included the canopic jar, which contained the preserved internal organs of the deceased, a supply of offerings for the gods and the ka, and several small figures, sharp teeth, whose function was to help the deceased perform laborious tasks in the afterlife such as plowing the land in the fields of peace and reeds. The stimulated, the passion, human hearts in need, perfect virtue. The stimulated, the passion, human heart in need. to put
new ways for your inner beauty and purpose that's linked to the reappearance of the same symbol in a different sphere often affords and brings about valuable clues again. We have already noted the new division of the Sephiroth into the four worlds of the Kabbalists. For this is one of the methods of classification much employed in the Kabbalistic thoughts and of great value when studying evolution. We must remember, however, what the tree is not arbitrary method of classification and because a thing is classified under one head in one system it does not mean that it cannot equally properly be classified under another head in another system the reappearance of the same symbol in a different sphere often affords valuable clues Especially 
of the divine, learning how to balance in humanity and allowing that inner communication of the psyche to continue with the higher power of your own peace of mind communication. Keeping the body healthy and separate from the physical universe as well as adhering to the world of action without negative.